Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Zystars, and we are sitting here with this silly new game called Dinkum. It's uh, very new, and I got it as a gift from a uh, good friend of the channel. Figured I'd give it a shot, do a little playing, see, see what the world has to offer. Now, I have played it enough to get kind of a, a basic feel on how things work. So what we're going to do with this game is we're going to take it in stages. We're going to start with all the entry stuff, and then, um, you know, there's a grinding involved in this game, just like there is any survival game. So I'm going to grind away until I reach a, a point where there's new stuff to get, and then we'll grind away again. I'll reach a point where there's some new stuff to get, and we'll do building, we'll do landscaping, we'll do fishing, we'll do all sorts of cool stuff. So I hope you guys do enjoy this playthrough, um, and by all means, please leave me some comments to let me know where to go if I miss something, you know, whatever. Alright, so let's see, new game. Uh, randomize. That is quite the head of hair we got there. I'm good with the skin color. Go with the Bart Simpson look. The lady, the Elvis. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Sure, why not? Yeah, okay. Holy crap. Hey, look at all these options. This is great. What is this? Oh, my shirt. See, it's interesting, because it's not just colors, it's patterns. Let's go with that one. Good enough for me. We are going to be Zystars, and we are going to be on the island name of... Splat Town. Okay. I'm not reading. Uh, well, all right. Oh, wait, there's a storyline? Everything went nuts. People were forced to move to South City. Hmm. South People of South City live cold and miserable lives. South City. Most people have no desire to leave. I mean, if it's cold and miserable, why wouldn't you want to leave? And I might have found a way out. Now, when I did my playthrough, my start, this, this, uh, this was not here. Looking for a young go-getter to accompany to my old home, Splat Town. Oh, I guess I was BSing too much. Hey, it's Fletch. We leave for Splat Town today. There must have been an update. Well, that's kind of neat. I don't remember this happening last time, unless I skipped it and didn't notice. Or, you know. No? Hmm. She's got a blimp. Not a blimp. Yeah, a blimp. A zeppelin. Flying over Splat Town. Splat Town is the name of the entire island, so we're going to create a town on Splat Town. Oh, I can click through this. Okay, there's the docks. There's a shark. That was loud. Oh, boy. All right, she's happy that we've decided to join her. We're brave. We're the only people that wanted to leave Splat Town. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right, we're out. So can we... Settings. Is there a way to turn off the... Master character voices. There we go. Turn that shit off. Beautiful. Okay, let's talk to Fletch. Smell that fresh air. Let's see, I'm gonna need your help getting settled. She's giving me a base tent. That's where she's gonna hang out. Let's see, I haven't been in Splat Town for a long time. I'll be waiting by this dock. Good luck, Zay Stars. Alright, we got the base tent and we got a map of the island. Here's our map. Holy crap, what the f Well, this isn't... This isn't a good spot. 
<laughs> what the hell, man? Okay, so the camera's just the mouse. Move camera. Um, yeah, so... Oh, one other thing. When you first... If you start this game, you... Oops, not this one. You gotta go in here, and... Where was it? Okay, you're gonna want the camera inverted on Y, and you're gonna want the mouse to move the camera. Otherwise, everything's gonna go all bonkers bananas on you. You're not gonna like it. So... There's a shark. So this is not gonna work. Like, there's no resources here. We we can't have our... We can't have our thing here. So we're gonna have to head over. I don't know why I'm picking this shit up right now. This is a ridiculous island. <laughs> I mean... This is ridiculous. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here. I, I want to say this is desert. Oh, this is bushlands. What? What did that say? Billabong? There's desert there. Here's the tropics up here. I don't know how important these docks are. So I'm not going to worry about them right now. I'm going to have to swim. I guess we'll see if... the shark eats me. Okay, we made it to the shore. Let's take a look. There's a wolf. This area is not very flat. I mean, it's cool. There's a lot of resources here. But it's not a good place for a town. Now, we're going to run into the problem of... Number one, inventory. But number two, food. Because... Can we eat these? We can, but they offer very little in the way of nutrition when they're uncooked. So we're going to need to find somewhere to set up camp. Okay, this is relatively flat. Oh, here we go. You know what? We might have to go into the desert. There's a turkey. Because this area is not... Like, there's nowhere good over here. But this area right here... This is pretty flat-ish. Okay, after running around for a little bit, I think this will do. I mean, I'm going to have to clear these trees out when I get an axe. And I'm going to have to clear the rocks. And there's a lot of brush. But there's also easy access to stone. For stone Oh, shoot. Those birds are super aggressive. But it doesn't look like they're going to bother me. See, the cool thing about these birds is they can't climb up or down. See? He's going to get all pissed off. No? He actually doesn't seem to give a shit about me. Oh. Huh. Okay. He doesn't care about me. That's even better. But we got iron, we got copper, we've got... We've got, uh... Rock, we've got wood. So I think... And then birds land here. So I think we're gonna be good here. I think we'll set up here. We'll start off with mining. We'll get a... We'll get these resources together so we can build things. And then we'll get, um... See, we got bush trees to get... This is the initial food. I like it. I like it. We got different biomes nearby. We got water for when it comes time to do some fishing. There's no obvious gators nearby. Because gators will just ruin your day. So let's drop this bitch down. Uh, yeah. This is where I decided to build. Alright, she, she's happy we set up. And we've got a tent for us. Please take your time to place your tent. Probably visiting base tent a fair bit. Keep that in mind. We're looking for a spot to claim as your own. 
and she'll be inside. All right, so we got a tent. Uh, let's put our tent somewhere relatively clear. Actually, let's put our tent right here. Yeah, this will work. All right. Found a good place for your tent. I do like my new home. Most people back in South City are scared of leaving. Yeah, that just pulls their spark out. Traveling trader. Of course I have. Bloody legend. Trading is in his blood. <laughs> Let's see. We can't miss an opportunity. Reckon getting this visiting site deed ready for him. That way we'll have a place to r any visitors that come. I'll let you decide where... Okay. Yes, we want people to feel like they belong here. Okay, so she's going to give me the visiting site deed. So now we're going to come out. Uh, we'll put... Mm, I don't want to put him on top of these resources. So... Uh, let's put him over here. Yep. Okay. Now we'll go talk to Fletch again. We are all set for visitors. <laughs> okay, now we get a little bit of Fletch backstory. Basically, his, her dad was a adventurer, and he kept a journal. And she wants me to keep track of my stuff on the adventurer's journal. Uh, let's see. Yeah, her dad would be happy. She wants me to try to beat her dad's milestones, which basically is just the... It's just a way for the game to say, yep, you did this thing, here's a reward. Oh, and this game's got daily tasks. So the funky thing about this game is you don't save except when you sleep. So every time we surpass a milestone, we'll get permit points. That's these up here. Okay. Yep. And I think she's about to give me... Find us some fruit. Okay, and I've already got the fruit. So we go to the journal... This is where you get permit points. And then you also get harvest three bush lime, catch two bugs, craft an item. So here's the problem. I already harvested all of the bush lime in the local area. I don't think that might be one. No. Yeah. I've harvested all the bush lime in the local area. There's also plenty of wildlife. Oh, here we go. There's one. Oh, actually, I think it just wanted three bush limes, not three different bushes. There's lots of these materials, because we're going to need the palm trees. And these are the hardwood. And then these are the gum wood. So we've got all three types of trees right next to us, which is... Oh, and four, the mangrove. So that is freaking awesome. Okay, yep, food is good. She's given us the stone to create a campfire. And since they don't make making a camp uh, workbench easy, she lets us use her workbench. So the crafting table requires gumwood planks, tin bars, and nails. To get planks, you need to have the cutting table, the saw table. To get nails, well, you just need tin, and then you gotta have tin. So we're not crafting that right now. We're gonna craft campfire. And then we're going to go put the campfire outside of our tent. Probably, mm, I think we'll start our crafting area right here. So now to, to cook food, you just drop, whoops, you don't hit the wrong button. It's not E, it's, you got to get close. 
and insert and then it'll cook it there we go and then you pick it up and then we can eat it and look up in the top left so on the top left you've got a bar that shows how full you are if this is full you can't eat anymore and then this is your energy level everything you eat boosts your energy up a little bit and your energy your energy and your um health if you're damaged and you can tell so four health six energy for the cooked two health three energy for the uncooked so cooking doubles the efficiency for this particular plant okay now let's go see and you can't burn your food so a bug net oh she gives me the first bug net okay good I think she's going to give me my sleeping bag. Okay, I can't believe we're in Splat Town. I couldn't have done this without all her gifts. <laughs> okay, now we can use these. My travel bag. We can use this as a storage area. Once we start getting full. Okay, so let's drag that over there. Put the bug net. This stuff is just sellables all right let's catch a fly things annoying the hell out of me oh she's got oh okay so she did we're still in tutorial mode so if you see the wolves chasing something if you see the wolves chasing something they, if they catch it they'll eat it and if you sneak in quick, you can get the meat. Before they do. What's he? He's, yeah, he's chasing that kangaroo. Look at all these resources over here. There we go. He got him. Now we get in here and we can steal the meat. That's how you get meat before you get a spear. <laughs> now if you look at the map, your base camp. Daystar's house, base tent visitor site so it shows you everything I'm surprised that bird's not attacking me but I'm not gonna complain all right I'm gonna just run around gather some resources and uh, when night falls we'll do the next part of the mission all right ladies and gentlemen it is about time put this thing down now I ran around we did a lot oh gathered some fruits some meats didn't get really get any more of these. These things are kind of interesting, though. Negative 5 to health and 2 to um, stamina. So let's see what happens when you cook them. See if they're worthwhile. Now, we also... Entomologist. I caught 5 bugs. Not more than 5 bugs. Oh, bug catcher. Here we go. 11 to f out of 50 now. Make sure you document all the different... Oh, this is the different bugs. Okay. Harvest Master. And the rest that we did. And we did all of these. So these ones you get immediately. These ones you have to click on. Um, oh, here we go. Cooked cactus. Let's see. Oh, it cooks fast. Okay, so it's five energy when you cook it. It doesn't give you health. But it gives you more energy. No, it doesn't. Okay, so it doesn't give you as much energy. But it cooks faster. And it... Definitely don't eat that. Yeah, it cooks faster, and it gives almost as much energy, so... That's not bad. That's not bad at all. What else did we do? Yeah, just caught a bunch of butterflies. So now, the big thing when you sleep... It gives you kind of a summary of everything you've done, and you level up your skills. You don't level up until you sleep. This one ought to be kind of big. Yeah. And I didn't earn any money today, and I didn't kill anything today. I didn't do any mining today. It was just the foraging and the other one. All right. So let's get up. Now we got to go talk to Fletch. Oh, so John's on site now. She's been talking to him. So yeah, we got to go talk to him and get all of the things. Find equipment, logging tools, and fishing. Although, 
you have to have these weird licenses in order to do anything. So I'm not going to listen to her talk. Okay, we're going to start with the mining license. And then we're going to, I think, do the fishing license because that's going to allow us to um, make the most money. The next one I'll probably do is logging and then hunting. And then excavation after that. All right. Uh, I think we got to go talk to... Yep, there he is. He's got all sorts. This is going to be a big one. This is going to be a big one because that'll cook food even faster. And it won't light you on fire. So let's talk to him. Let's see what we can get for all this stuff. Yeah, we will. Lots of business. Let's see. And the money is called Dinks. He takes what we give him and sells it back in the uh, South City. Offer you a great price for it. He's going to offer me the only price for it. All right. Oh, first, always check once a day. Um, I wish we could skip all this. All right. Yep, need anything? Uh, orange. I have an orange plaid pants. Oh, he's got pants he'll sell me. Now, sometimes he'll give you quests. And then the quest will boost the little hearts here. And the higher the hearts, I don't know what happens with it. All right, so for now, we're just going to sell him. As far as I can tell, the blue stuff is all useless. You just sell it. And these things, I'm sure as well, but I'm not 100%. And I know you use the flowers for something, but it's nothing we're going to do anytime soon. Now, I'm not going to sell my logs, and I'm not going to sell my food. But let's see what he gives me for this. Okay, nine grand. That's a good start. So we got, oh, oh, what are our, make 200 dinks, catch three bugs. Now nah, we're not going to be able to plant four seeds. So we're going to get the mining pickaxe. And then we're going to get the fishing rod, because that's all we have. Oh, we can actually get one more. Um... The hunting license isn't any good until... Oh, wait, no, actually. We can make it here. Well, we could use hers to make the spear. Yeah, table saw will be handy. Oh, she's giving me half this dinks to get a table saw. Okay. All right, so now we got 250. We could go hunting or we could go logging. Well, we're going to need logging before hunting. Because we can eat. We don't need to worry about meat for food quite yet. Okay. Bridges will be nice. Okay. And then, oh, we got something here. Okay. Okay. Now, we can go catch bugs easy. We'll do that when we're running around. But since we got logging now, we're going to go buy an axe. Okay. And, oh, let's buy the table saw. Okay. And that's all we got. Now, we are going to... We're going to get some stone because I want to create a few more campfires because that makes cooking a little quicker. We're not going to bother pulling up the tin and copper yet because I need I need the forge. And I believe Fletch is going to give us the forge. Oops, that? No. You don't get a lot of rock, do you? First we'll talk to her. Yeah, we wanted to move here permanently, but that's going to take time. Oh. Table saw is a great first step. That's well, ready for what? Sure. 
Camping is fun. We're going to convince people to stay here. we got to start building more permanent structures. A lot of tin ore. Okay, she's going to... Here we go. Okay, what does she need? She needs a campfire, three stone, and ten tin ore. Oh, you see how I'm, the, the screen is fading? I'm getting tired. Alright, that's going to have to be all that we do. That's going to be the big benefit to getting better food. We can eat more. Alright. Got everything for you, lady. Rude furnace. Alright, and so the next thing she wants is a tin bar. Uh, the furnace costs only five tin ore. Okay. I would like to make two, but actually I can. Okay, so we're going to put our fireplaces here. So let's take this tree down. I know I could put this stuff inside my tent, but I don't know. That just kind of makes it put it makes it uh tough to use. I don't want to have to go in my tent every time I do something. It just sounds terrible. And we're gonna need to cook too, so I'm gonna to need more stone. Well, I think the ore is going to be something we use a little bit less often. There we go. So let's put the... Uh, so we're going to go campfire. Here, let's put the these things right here. Oops. Rotate. There we go. There we are. All right, perfect. Now we just select the ore. Oh, god damn it. Insert. I keep hitting E like an idiot. Alright. Okay. Two of those will come in handy when we start gathering more ore. Okay, we're gonna let that go. Let's get some more food cooked. I'd like to save the figs for um, when we're damaged. So here's these things. You can break them open, and you get all sorts of cool shit from them. And you need an old key. That's a new one. And you need to, you need these to make some of the more advanced items. Oh, an old wheel. Sweet. Now you can also find those by using the shovel and digging in places, but we're not doing that right now. Okay, we're going to grab the rest of this tin, and then we're going to, uh, go to go see Fletch. Let's see, we're really starting to carry a lot of stuff around. A wooden crate. And nails. Yep. Let's do it. I'm gonna spend a bit of money at this tent. Yep, and okay, now we can get probably real quests from him. We can make some nails and a wooden crate, which is fantastic. But I think we need blank. Yeah, we need gumwood and palmwood planks. So that's not a problem. So let's go talk to old boy and see if he needs anything done that we can do real quick. Oh, he's got nothing for us today. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and sell to him. Well, no, we'll sell to him in the morning. 
Because he might want one of the bugs or something that we've caught. Okay, so n what's next? Uh, so we can't do any of that. We need to catch another bug. And then I need to put up some more fires. Read. This looks broken. There are parts missing. Should I place something inside? Oh, look! They need green boards, hot cylinders, shiny discs, bright wires, and smooth slates. Well, I have some of those. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay, well. We'll have to keep our eyes open for that stuff. Which we'll probably find in the boxes, the barrels and stuff that are all around. Where was our base? Oh, yeah. Now, you know when they're out of their tents they're no longer any good for um purchasing but you can still turn in quests to them which reminds me we got shell yeah hot fruit rock on walk about super taster okay so that gives us a couple more tomorrow we can get a couple more things from her Ooh, yeah yeah we're gonna need those for nails. Um, insert. We're gonna need those for nails. Oh, and I don't have any stone. Let's get some campfire stone. Oh wait, no, we gotta put this thing down. Um. Oh look, they're chatting. That's kind of cool. Let's put you here. Okay, that should be enough of that. Now let's go in here. Now what did we need to make this? Three nails. Okay, let's make a couple of these. Oh, first nails. Okay, that gave us 16, so we should be able to make... Two crates. Gumwood planks. I do want a crafting table so I don't have to walk in here. Okay, crafting table. Now the cooking table is cool, but... Um, and we could almost make it, but it doesn't really do anything. Well, no, we could make the meat on a stick. Which would be good. But we'll have to do that. We still got to do some gathering for that, so we're not, we're not ready for that yet. All right, so let's drop these off, these down. We're going to have two crates. We're going to have crafting table here. And then we're going to put the crates here. Okay. We certainly can't carry everything. Certain things we're going to put in there. I am going to put the crafting table together at some point. Okay, so... This one will be crafting materials. That will keep on me. And... This will be food stuff. Go. Oh, that stuff's cooked. And then the miscellaneous we're going to keep to sell. Probably open something. Oh, maybe we won't sell that. Maybe we'll keep that in our inventory. Um, I should make another plate. We're going to, for now, we're going to put the stuff that might be important in here while we're goofing around. And then we'll do another, we'll do another box just for that stuff. Oh, there's that smooth slate we need for, and the tin sheet no we needed a smooth slate batteries and something else i think the quartz crystals we sell okay all right i think we're good what did we get yeah crafting okay we got a lot of points ladies and gentlemen a lot of points we're gonna turn in for the night all right it's a new day and we're ready for 
Let's see. She wants me to catch a river bass for her. We could do that. Oh, and then we need to apply for a license. Okay. We already have those. Excavation, using a shovel. Hunting to make weapons. Bridges. So... Do the hunting license. And then we've got 715 left. We can't buy farming equipment or trapping equipment until we get into the better shop. So, really, the excavation is the only thing right now that matters. Okay. Now we're going to go buy a shovel and see if he needs anything done. Oh. A Barco Grunter. Okay, so I'll spend some time doing some some of that. We are going to pick up a second pickaxe. Okay. Because we're going to break this one today. Because I'm going to start picking up, now that I have boxes, I'm going to start picking up copper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to start chopping down these trees in town. We're going to get all the copper, the termites. Oh, actually, we need to sell some stuff to him because he didn't want any of the things that we had, so we need to clear out our inventory. Yeah, so let's go do that real quick. Oh, and catching fish is something that we're supposed to do for today. Buying a new tool. Didn't I just do that? Yeah, I did. And then cook something on the cooking table, which we don't have. What we might at some point. Oh, wow. Okay, so now it's time for fishing, and we need to find... Let's see. A Barco Gruder. And a River Bass. Oh, look, did you see that? There's a picture of it. Okay. Uh, where'd the river go? All right, fishing isn't the most exciting thing to watch. Um, but just in the interest of showing what it's like, first you got to find a fish. Cast your line. Keep your hand off the right click. Wait for the bobber to go down underwater. Like that, grab it. Wait for the fish to stop fighting. Reel in. You see on the right there, if you reel in while the fish is fighting, it puts strain on your line and you might break it. And... Blammo. Alright, that was just a carp. So I gotta run around and try to find river bass. And that other one. These are the mangrove trees. Which actually, I do want some of those sticks. So let's... I don't know, put that up there for now. Because you can make meat on a stick with these things, and that's going to be a good source of food. We'll do the hunting license and make a spear soon, but... Okay, five is plenty. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to keep fishing. And uh, hopefully we're going to get what we need, but I'm going to keep fishing and then I think we're going to go ahead and cut this episode. So I'm going to keep grinding away, doing simple tasks, and when the next, uh, the next big thing pops up, well, I'll pop another episode up. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, do me a favor, like and subscribe to the channel, share with your buddies, because uh, YouTube says sharing is caring. And as always, everyone, have a great rest of your day. Shut up and sit down.